I am here today with Pastor George Monnier, and it has been such a blessing to get to know him. Interestingly, he started studying about two weeks ago the questions that are online at revelationwithdaniel.com slash questions. He has been able to study with his wife. He has been able to uh, get really excited about the truths that he has learned. And so it is really my honor to introduce you to Pastor George. And it's a blessing to have you here, dear brother. And I'm wondering if you can give us a little bit of your history, how you started as a child, where you live, uh, perhaps your family, and then coming into the ministry. Did you go to school? How long have you pastored? How many churches do you have? That kind of stuff. And I might inter, you know, interrupt a little bit to see if we can clarify some things. So please, dear brother, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you very much, uh, my brother uh, Daniel, for the opportunity you have given unto me to introduce myself from Kenya. I am Pastor Monye Jojo Pondo from Kenya, a born again Christian, Amen. a man who is married with a wife called Cynthia Achieng Monye. Uh, I have a family of one boy and three girls. Oh, good. Uh, boy, Joy Avril, precious joy, happiness, grace, and Isaac blessing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got born again when I was in primary at grade four, that is standard four, when I used to repeat classes, I used to repeat class every time three when I was doing exam because I used to be cycling off and on and every time three I would be, I would be admitted in the hospital ward to be treatment, to, be, to get treatment. Okay. So there was a woman who came to me and was a born again Christian who preached to me in the world, in the hospital. And I accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord of my life, my personal savior. And from there, I began performing well in school at primary. And I thank God while I was in grade six, seven and eight, I was given a name by the pupils at primary level as a pastor, George. Wow. And that, so Whenever they saw me preaching and encouraging the school, a school called Arunda Primary School in Homer Bay County, uh, I began to sing, uh, to preach, and to share with people the word of God, the pupils. And I passed my exam well at grade eight, and I joined from one in Homer Bay High School, where I also got my a good grade of uh, C minus, and I joined Bethany Christian College. Uh, 2009, where I managed to pursue my diploma in three good years at Bethany Christian College in Nairobi. And by that time, in the secondary, I preached the gospel. I was given also a name as a pastor by the students. Again, mm -hmm. while I was in college, I would preach the gospel at the time when I ended well. So outside here, since I come out of the Bible College, I have been preaching the gospel in Homer Bay County Town. I've been invited to sing and worship in praises and worship song and preaching the gospel uh, for people to believe that Christ is Lord. And now when I came to Mbita region, Mbita town within Oma Bay, within Mbita, within Oma Bay County, it found when I've already established more than five churches, there are now six okay. that I have ministered to and they have been established and uh, they are running all of them. And I thank God for that grace. That's amazing. So you're telling me that you started as a young person. You were already called a pastor in primary school, and you were able to continue on as pastor of your classes. And uh, you you have pastored, you said, six or seven churches now? Already they have arrived to seven. Seven churches. Okay. So um, <clears throat> did you go to seminary as well or just the Bible college? How did that work out? I first went, okay, I first got born again, and the call in me led me to join Bible College mm -hmm. because I had already a call of uh, doing pastoral work and pastoral care to people, and also I had to bring many souls to Christ. So uh, whenever I go and preach the gospel, we thank God that we, we could establish a branch because many people could confess that Christ is Lord, mm -hmm. being Christ is the mediator between us and God. And uh, we thank God that those churches are alive and they are active and they are doing well. Amen. 
They are in different places. One in Beta, where I do full-time pastoral work. One is one is found in Homer Bay. One is being found in Migori County. Another one is being found part of Homer Bay, but in Karachuanyo. So those churches, there are seven, and they are active, and they are functioning well. Praise God. I am looking forward to being there pretty soon, and hopefully I'll be able to interact with you and some others that are there. I'll be leaving in just a couple of days to head out that direction again, because I understand there are several pastors, nine of them, that are studying the Bible together in answer to some of the questions that have been put up on that revelationwithdaniel.com slash questions webpage. Tell us a little bit about your experience. You have been teaching for many years in the, how many years have you been pastoring again? I have been pastoring for the last 14 years. And uh, the message I have been feeding people with from the Bible College, I've been telling people about that we have the Trinity of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about the Trinity, and uh, we have been telling people that uh, uh, we have uh, one God in three, and we have been telling people for those many years that we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And, uh, we have been saying uh, that uh, to, to them that uh, they share the same equality, that the Holy Spirit is the same like Jesus, and Jesus is the same like God. But uh, after interacting with your teachings and uh, going to your website in YouTube, after a link was shared with me by my brother Philemon, mm -hmm. I went to your teaching in two weeks, and I came to realize that I have been feeding many people with the wrong information, and I was sorry, and I had to pray and repent. Wow. God to forgive me because I came to realize I have fed people with the wrong doctrine after reading your, 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 your following you in your good teachings that you have ex, ex, uh, you have actually uh, d done a lot of study and you have uh, given us a deeper revelation from your teachings. So after your teachings, I had to repent and begin to pray to reach all these people I've been ministered to change the the narrative of God the Father, God the Son, God the, God the Holy Spirit, so that they may know the right thing as per what I got from your books and what I got from your revelation from uh, Daniel.com. Well, that's really encouraging. The revelationwithdaniel.com slash questions page has done that for you to open your eyes to what the Bible is saying about God, His Son, and His Spirit. Would you mind sharing with us a little bit about what you learned regarding God the Father? Who is God now to you compared to what you used to believe? Yes. When I listened carefully to your, your teachings, I came to realize that we only have definite God, who is one Father, mm. who is the creator of the universe, mm -hmm. who is the only God, who has, who has created the visible and the invisible, and uh, he cannot share his glory with anybody. He's the only God. Yes. But sometimes back, I used to tell people that Jesus and the Holy Spirit are the same with God and they share the same powers, which I came to realize I had a wrong doctrine. Mm -hmm. Wow. So now God created everything through his son. God gave his son the ability to create. But you're seeing that now there's one God that has the ability to give his son the opportunity to do those things and the abilities. <clears throat> but the Father is not the Son, neither is the Son the Father. We have the head of Christ, Christ is the head of man, man is the head of the woman, etc., right? Yes. Amen. So Amen. What, did you, what did you learn also about Jesus Christ? Have you learned some things about the Son of God that you hadn't known before? I have, I have learned much and great, great things from, uh, from God, the, God the Father, who is the only Father in heaven, and I came to realize that Jesus is the son of God and the only begot begotten one. Amen. And Jesus is our mediator, the mediator between humankind and God is the bridge. I came to realize that God gave him power from heaven and on earth to do miracle. 
but when, when but that one doesn't mean that he is in the same hierarchy in the same position with god he also whenever he, he do he does any miracle he recognizes the father i yeah. am doing this to glorify the my father yes. uh, for example at bethany when he wanted to to, to resurrect uh, uh, lazarus that father uh, may your name be glory he recognizes the father Mm-hmm. Whenever, whenever he, the time when he wanted to 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 die, he said that Father, let your will be done. Yes. To mean that he doesn't share the. He also recognizes the Father as his Father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it's really exciting to be able to see the Bible in plain English, isn't it? Instead of having to lay aside things, saying no, it's a mystery. We don't understand. God is too big and. He, as a God figure, has given us the the family language whereby we can interact with him to understand. It's not that way. It's much more simple, and it's very plain in English. So I'm, I'm glad that you've taken inspiration from that as well. <clears throat> now, what about the Spirit? What have you learned regarding God's Spirit? I came to realize from your teaching, the word Spirit has been introduced, has been mentioned from the Bible, from the book of Genesis. And I came to realize from the book of Genesis, when God was creating, the world was void and formless, and this, but and the Spirit of God was brooding or hovering over the waters. To mean that when God was creating the heaven and earth, his spirit was already there. And that is the reason why he could use spoken word and things could be could come to be because his spirit was there to create things so i came to realize that god has his when he was creating the the heaven and earth or when he began creating he has his mind already and his mind is spirit yes and we have two types of spirit we have evil spirit and we have the holy spirit the mm-hmm. evil spirit comes from the, the devil. The devil has his spirit, but it is evil. I also learn from your teaching, but the Holy Spirit comes from God who is holy. And that one is his spirit that he bestowed and he, he imparted in the life of Jesus so that whenever Jesus could speak, the spirit of God could be at work because that one is the mind of God. Amen. So it matters to you now, just like it does to me, when the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We're actually talking about the spirit of God being in Christ Jesus that's supposed to be in us as well, right? And so we can have that same experience. Now, I've talked to you before, and you mentioned how excited you were to learn about the ladder that's described in the vision of Jacob, where God the Father is standing at the top of the ladder the prophets down at the bottom and the angels are ascending and descending because of Jesus, the only mediator between heaven and earth. Was that exciting to you? That one was very exciting and very amazing to me that Jesus is our bridge to reach God. And it is through only his begotten son, Jesus Christ, when we, the will of the father is for us to accept his son. And when we accept the son, where the son become the mediator, we are able to go, uh, through the Son and reach God because He's the mediator. But that one is not only enough. We are supposed to practice practically the life of Christianity. We live a holy life, a life that pleases God. Amen. We take that word and we walk with it so that people may see Christ in us, not only to confess that Christ is Lord. Let people see our, our talk as we walk, as we speak, as we dress up, as we reason up, let them see the mind of Christ in us. Let them see our character resembling the one of Christ. I want to live a life that pleases God through his son, Christ Jesus. Amen. Me too, brother. I really do. That's my goal. That's my wish, my desire for you and for me, but also anybody watching these videos. Now, what about your wife? You said you, you have a wife, and when she heard you teaching differently about God and his son, what did she say? We were doing study together with my wife, Pastor Cynthia uh, Monye, and uh, she was touched too. And she told me that, Pastor, 
George, we have to sit down and gather quality notes from uh, from uh, the servant of God, our friend, Brother Daniel, Daniel's teaching, and we load it, and we have a way of reaching all these churches, and we give them another part of what we receive, the, another truth, the truth we receive from your teachings, so mm. that we may change their life, we change their reasoning, we change their mind, they take another direction, another dimension of the work of God and, uh, and the good teachings we receive from you. So we have a task with her that we have to visit all our branches and give them the quality teachings we got from you so that their mind may be transformed and changed. But we are going first to tell them we are sorry, we had a wrong concept, but after digging deeper from the Bible through our friend Daniel, we came to realize that there is a hidden truth that people ought to have understood. Amen. Praise God for that. I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that. You know, at the revelationwithdaniel.com slash questions page, you'll find not only the videos, but also the notes in PDF format. You'll be able to click those, get the notes, and then you could send those through WhatsApp or Messenger um, anybody, you know, through texting or anybody you can reach out to, that would be a great blessing because the notes are basically questions asking about the Father, about the Son, about the Spirit, about the Trinity. And yeah. what is the Bible saying in response to these things? Now, that's really encouraging. So I'm wondering, what would you say to the people that are watching this video? Do you have a charge for them, a challenge, something that you'd like to encourage them to be able to consider as a result of your personal time studying God's word, let us let us know what you think. Yes. I have something to tell the, the viewers, those who are uh, watching us from different places, that uh, we thank God first for revelation with Daniel and uh, the, re the revelation that God gave you deeply from the Bible. It is very definite and accurate, and it is timely, and it is seasonal, and it is the right message that people should get. Wow. Amen. Now, what if there are other pastors that are listening, other pastors, maybe other people that are studying the Bible? What would you say to them about the Word of God and what it can do for you, but also for them? You have asked a question about the pastors who are listening to me. What should I say to them and the advice I should give them? I'm saying to the pastors who are watching us across the world, that path you are preaching and teaching people the wrong concept from the Bible about God the Father, God the Son, God the, the Holy Spirit. I want to let them know that we don't have like a trinity of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit in the Bible. It yeah. doesn't appear anywhere from the Bible. Let them check the Bible well from the book of Genesis to Revelation they will know that the teachings that God has given unto you in this time, it is timely and it has come to correct, as the Bible says from the book of 2 Timothy 2.16, that uh, the word of God helped in rebuking, teaching, and training. Mm. The word that God has given unto you, let it uh, now, it has trained me, it has rebuked me, so that I may be well equipped. Let them be well equipped with the words of truth that God gave you with the revelation with the Daniel so that they may change their mind and they teach their congregation the right word of God that has been extracted from the Bible, not their mind, not from the theology. When, when, when you go to school of theology and it, uh, it has taught you something which is not uh, the Bible, you need to read the Bible well and you get the mind of God. So yeah. that we may know that Christ Jesus is our ladder, is our bridge to reach God. And is the son of the living God. Is the son, is the only begotten son. Let them understand that the Holy Spirit is the mind of God. Yeah. And God is one. And he, he cannot share his glory with anyone. He's omnipresent, omnipotent, all-powerful, all-knowing. Let nobody cheat them that we have the Trinity in the Bible. The Trinity does not exist in the Bible. It is the mind of men. So that they may teach their flocks the right word of God from the Bible. 
and uh, the challenges that we are going through, specifically if I live alone, the Africa or Kenya or Mbeta, that uh, we need quality. Uh, we need quality projector and a good curtain that we would project this teaching. We would gather people. We would arrange for people to come and get the video, the video that you recorded, so that you may continue to change their life with your good teachings. We are trusting God to begin having quality system of instrument in our churches or in the church where I pastor, so that we begin preaching the right message to people so that they may understand the real word of God from the Bible that we got a revelation with Daniel. Mm -hmm. And again, we are trusting God that God shall provide us with a piece of land here in Beta, where we will erect his good quality sanctuary, where people will come to know the truth as we will preaching the truth of the word of God from the Bible that has been revealed to us. And we are very ready to support your teachings whenever we will be. We will be sending them through WhatsApp, through messengers, uh, through any system God will allow us. Just trust God with us that we have quality system in the church. We have, because right now the church where we pastor, it is in a school where we pay the rent. And uh, we are trusting God that after getting a good piece of land, we will erect for God a good sanctuary house calling by the name of God, where people will be coming and knowing the truth of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. See, what has happened is God is calling, ever since the Old Testament, he's been calling his people away from idolatry. And you can read in Isaiah, in Jeremiah, in Ezekiel, in the minor prophets as well, even John the Baptist, people were being called away from worshiping the false God. And so, what we have seen in the New Testament in the time of Christ was that God's people, Israel, though they had the right day, they had the wrong God. And as a result, they killed God's son. We don't want to be responsible for doing that same thing today. So we're calling people to understand the truth as it is written in his word. And if we can come to that point, if we can surrender and fully accept what God has in his mind for us, then we will be able to give his mind to others as well. So that's what we're praying for. We're hoping together, Brother Pastor George Monye, we're asking that the Lord will continue to bless and keep us both, but also as many as are willing to study and follow the truth. So I'm wondering, dear brother, would you be willing to pray for not only you and I here, but also for others that are listening? Yes, I will pray for you together with the ones who are listening to us so that God may continue to give them deeper revelation concerning the truth from the Bible so that we live a Bible way and uh, we talk a Bible way. Amen. Go ahead, dear brother. Thank you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Father of our Lord Jesus, we understand that your mind is the Holy Spirit. And Lord, through Jesus Christ, we are reconciled back to you because Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. We thank you because Jesus, whom you brought to die on the cross of Calvary for the sake of our sin, to be brought back to you through Christ Jesus. Though you gave him power and authority, and that one doesn't mean that Jesus shared glory with you. He also recognized you as the Father. We thank you for such a wonderful opportunity you have given us to meet with your servant, Brother Daniel, the revelation with Daniel who has taught us a good and a quality and the truth from the Bible. Lord, how I pray that all those people are watching us across the world, let them accept this truth and walk with this truth and take these words of truth to another level to meet with many people so that people may take a paradigm shift so that they may have a changed mind. The words you, have gave, your, you gave your servant, Brother Daniel, shall never turn void. Let it accomplish the purpose where you brought it to him. A Lord, how I pray, may your will be done upon the life of pastors. Mm -hmm. Let them have a big change after sharing these teachings and watching the video that you gave Revelation with Daniel. Let it transform their life. Let them walk upright life full of righteousness and holiness. 
and let them serve you genuinely from the bowel of their heart. Let them know that one day they will stand in the judgment of God and they will be accountable with everything they did with their life. We glorify you, Father, in heaven, and we give you praise because there is none like you. Where we have gone astray as your servant across the world with the wrong teachings we have imparted in the life of people, may you forgive us. Help us come back to the right track and walk with you as we serve you genuinely from the bowel of our heart. For it is in Jesus' mighty name I pray and give thanks.